noon first at noon first the highlights lagos state's government stakeholders discuss traffic solutions for fuel tankers along free trade zone access in ibeju leki Synod urges federal government to initiate protection policy for local miners and businesses. On the foreign scene, Donald Trump moves towards victory as he addresses supporters ahead official release of final resort in U.S. presidential election. In sports, Nigeria defeats Cameroon to reach international handball federation trophy Africa final. Now, the details. I am Taiwo Barua. The Beju Leki Local Government and Leki Local Council Development Area, LCDA, in partnership with the Lagos State Ministry of Transportation, has organized a stakeholders meeting on traffic management for fuel tankers and other articulated vehicles operating along the free trade zone access the meeting which took place at the new eleko market brought together government officials industry stakeholders transport operators and community leaders to address the growing concerns over traffic congestions and posed by heavy vehicular movement in the area addressing the gathering special advisor to the governor on transportation shalagiwa explained that the meeting created a timely opportunity to further inform the people of Ibejuleki about the implementation of the e up system, noting that the system is designed to streamline the efficiently manage the movement of trucks in and out of the free trade zone. Giwa also stated that the Ministry of Transportation will continue to collaborate with the relevant enforcement agencies to ensure a smooth implementation of the e up system aimed at improving traffic flow, adding that industries within the zone have already embraced the system and encouraged the community to do the same. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, has urged commercial and other drivers to comply fully with traffic regulations and respect the authority of its personnel warning that it will not condone any form of violence or intimidation. Lasma Director, Public Affairs and Enlightenment Department, Adebayo Taufik stated this while reacting to a video showing the driver of a Volkswagen T4 commercial bus setting both his vehicle and Lasma officers ablaze in a brazen attempt to evade arrest for violating traffic regulations in the Sele inward Mautu area. Reiterating Lasma's unwavering commitment to preserving order and ensuring the safety of Lagos roads as stipulated in the Lagos State Transport Sector Reform Law of 2018, Taufik said the agency will take firm and decisive action against those responsible for the attack. The federal government is moving forward with plans to equip the Federal Road Safety Corps, FRC, with helicopters aiming to streamline the emergency evacuation of accident victims across the country. The helicopters slated for procurement under a public-private partnership arrangement were announced during the FRC management retreat and press conference held in Abuja. The Deputy Corps Marshal who oversees the Corps Policy, Research and Statistics Department, Clement Oladili, highlighted the progress made towards securing these air assets. Oladili also noted ongoing discussions with private sector partners to further equip the FRC with air ambulances, which would be stationed at strategic locations near trauma centers along accident-prone routes. Now to the rest of the stories. The Senate has urged the federal government to initiate a policy that will protect local miners and their businesses. Chairman, Senate Committee on Solid Minerals Development, Ekong Sampson, made the call when he led members of a committee on an oversight visit to the Minister of Solid Minerals Department and some of its agencies in Abuja. The Senate Committee had expressed concerns about increase in mining activities and its potential 
to stifle local mining investment compared to their foreign counterparts in other sectors. Responding to a question on the need for a policy to safeguard the operations of local miners and make their investment safe, Samson said the Senate is exploring trajectories to ramp up revenue for the government. He said there is a need for the country to have a robust legal framework for curbing illegal mining, noting that illegal operators not only undermine revenue but also disrupt oversight functions. Meanwhile, Minister of Solid Minerals Development Delia Laki expressed the ministry's readiness to collaborate with the Senate to sanitize the mining sector and have policies that would help generate more revenue for the federal government. The chief of army staff, Tarid Lagbaja, is dead. This was confirmed in a statement released today by the special advisor to the president, Bayo Ononuga. Ononuga says that President Bolatino will regret announcing the passing of Lieutenant General Tarid Lagwaja, who was the chief of army staff at age of 56. In a groundbreaking move towards ensuring sustainable and eco-friendly packaging, Eleganza a group of companies, one of the most established and wholly owned indigenous manufacturing industries in Nigeria, has introduced and exhibited new plastic products at the 2024 Lagos International Trade Fair. This is a step aimed at redefining the role of plastics in an environmentally conscious world. Sales team officer of Eleganza Group of Companies, Akin Tunde, who spoke at the ongoing Lagos International Trade Fair at the Tafaba Lewa Square, said the bold move by the company demonstrates the competent and history of the organization as the number one production plastic manufacturer in Africa. Also speaking at the trade fair, son of business Mago and founder of Eleganza Group of Companies, Razak Okoya Shubomi, affirmed that the organization has emerged with an impact to empower its consumers, as well as maintaining continuous visibility in the market sector. The launch was met with enthusiasm by businesses and growing consumers, aiming to drive the industry towards a more sustainable future, setting a benchmark in eco-friendly packaging innovation. In foreign news, while it is not yet over, Donald Trump is on the cusp of completing one of the most remarkable comebacks in presidential history. Trump has declared victory in the U.S. election as he addresses jubilant supporters in Florida. The Republican has picked up the battleground state of Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, leaving Kamala Harris with only a narrow path to victory. And those victories came on the back of a strong performance in traditional rural areas. If the current electoral trends continue, former President Trump will be on his way towards becoming president-elect. A return to the White House would be an extraordinary comeback for Trump after he lost to Joe Biden in 2020. In sport now, Nigeria is through to the final of the International Handball Federation RHF Trophy Africa men's continental phase following a hard fought 44 to 33 victory over Cameroon in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The defending champions, led by coach Emeka Namani, fought hard against a defensively minded Cameroonian side from the first blast of the whistle, scoring more from the wings and fast breaks to win. The first half, 22 to 15, despite the odds. They started the second half in the same vein with left back Christian Bolaji dictating proceedings with vital goals from the nine meters and the wings to win the match 44 to 33. Foloki, who got injured after a collision with a Cameroon goalkeeper in the last minute of the match, was voted the most valuable player of the match. Speaking after the match, Namani praised his team for fighting hard against Cameroon and doing everything possible to get 
to the final once again. Nigeria will now play Guinea in the finals today at 3 p.m. Nigerian time. And that's it on the news at noon. But just before we go, remember, speed thrills but kills. Please avoid excessive speed. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961.ng. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songulu administration introduced a 1 billion naira agriculture value chain fund targeted at businesses that operate within the agri value chain? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website to end the news. Here are the highlights of the major stories. The Ibejuleki Local Government and Local Council Development Area, LCDA, in partnership with the Lagos State Ministry of Transportation, has organized a stakeholders' meeting on traffic management for fuel tankers and other articulated vehicles operating along the free trade zone axis. The Senate has urged the federal government to initiate a policy that will protect local miners and their businesses. We also told you that while it is not yet over, Donald Trump is on the cusp of completing one of the most remarkable comebacks in presidential history. And finally, Sport Nigeria is through to the final of the International Handball Federation IHF Trophy African Men's Continental Phase following a hard fought 44 to 33 victory over Cameroon in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Zaina Badibeshi. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon. Up next is Lunchtime Worker with MCIs and Timmy Topper Buma. Put aside. Enjoy. <laughs>